Well, hello again. Uh, just I just noticed something uh, a little while ago, and I thought I would share it with you as an example of basically how to make sure that you set your drums up the same way all the time so that you're comfortable and you don't have to think about where you're going to hit. You kind of get muscle memory uh, so that for instance after so many years of playing and having the same setup basically I can literally play with my eyes closed um, and still hit everything exactly in the right place just because my arms know exactly where everything is so as an example of this uh, I, I just want to show you something that I noticed quite by accident um, between the two sets I have set up so this is a normal Vic Firth 5B um, American Classic Hickory stick. Okay, so nice and uh, it's got a pretty thick shaft and it's kind of tapered a little bit and it's got a wooden tip on it. Okay, so what I noticed was that on this kit, my big kit, which has 13 inch hi hats over here, I noticed that my stick was being worn at a certain point and I marked it with a line right here basically that's where it stopped getting thinner and and the taper started again so yes I did hit a little bit right here but basically most of the hitting was done here and it kind of if you look at the new one basically what it did was it did the same as a lathe would do and it straightened out the last few inches by hitting the hi-hat repeatedly okay now at home I have a 14 inch hi-hat and this is a stick that I used there and as you can see the taper ends a little bit later and it just so happens after measuring it that it's almost exactly half an inch which is half of the extra one inch diameter of a 14 inch hi-hat versus a 13 inch hi-hat which would lead you to believe that my body automatically knows where the center of this hi-hat post is because my leg is always in the same angle position and when I set up a drum set it's always just what feels comfortable even if I'm at a bar I'll move this around until it's like okay that's good and if I measure the distance from here to the center there or from you know my belly button to the center there it's going to be within a few millimeters of exactly the same uh, place just like if I measured where my ride symbol was to the same parts and I did this with strings I put a string on every piece of equipment and I took and then I tore my stuff down and then the next day after a gig I set it back up and it was all exactly the same numbers so uh, this is just a demonstration of how if you can't already do that you might want to start measuring general measurements for instance what the angle is between your knees from the center point so that you're always comfortable on your foot pedals uh, how what the angle is of your leg this angle right here from from the vertical what angle is your leg on from the vertical? Um, how far is your bass drum head away from your knee? Things like that, just general. How high is your stool? Um, and if you can m make sure that that is really, really consistent, then you won't have to worry about it when you're playing the drums. And everything will always be in the same place. And you'll be a much more accurate and more comfortable player because you always know where things are and you you'll be able to play with your eyes closed and uh... so anyway just thought i'd share that with you 
And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Bye-bye.